Hi, <coughs> this is um, New Zealand amateur radio station ZL3 XCG Zulu Lima 3 X Ray Denmark Japan. And uh, we're just doing uh, a couple of short videos again uh, with regard to vertical antenna. But I've actually had um, I've had quite a few emails with regard my other videos um, asking me how do we get an antenna in a extremely small area um, because and we basically here we're looking at a um, 20 meter vertical. Uh, the reason I picked 20 meters is simply because um, 20 meters seems to be. Uh, over here in the southern hemisphere a band that's working really well at the moment um, so basically what we've got is um, we've got a five meter pole which is um, which is just um, up against a, a bush here and it's got a um, a couple of um, fishing wire just tied from the pole to the bush we've got a 5.1 um, five, yeah, 5 piece of um, radiating wire going up the pole uh, just here and down at the bottom um, we've got um, a basic connector with the wire coming down goes to the center of the coax coax um, with ferrite clamps I tend to find ferrite clamps work just as well as a one-to-one -one ballon and um, and at the, at the bottom just underneath um, this is where we uh, the earth side is where we simply have uh, alligator clips to um, to fasten on the radials, and the problem, of course, everybody uh, says to me, is uh, is the radials. You can you can put a um, put a vertical up practically anywhere, uh, it, 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 but the verticals are obviously going to take up a lot of room. So today's test, and and again, as people who who know me. Um, yeah, it's easy to go on the computer and look at all the various antenna software and see what might happen. But I like to just get out in the field and experiment, and then get um, get get proper true um, results on the air uh, without having to uh, look through all the software in the first place. So basically, we're looking at a, as I say, a twenty meter vertical, which is about five meters five meters tall. So. Uh, radials, radials normally about five meters long. Um, it, it doesn't have to be that that uh, precise, and uh, it seems that the magic number everybody tells me is is sixteen, sixteen five meter radials, and the antenna will work really successful uh, with low low angle takeoff, and um, and and you get um, get long distance uh, DX without any problems, but. As I say, I've had a few um, emails where people have a vertical, uh, but they don't have the room for the five metre long radials. So as you can see on the ground at the moment, in the next following video, which um, I'll, 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 be, I'll be testing later, uh, once, um, still daylight here, but once, um, once we get to the grey line, I'll, I'm going to do a test with this antenna and 16 um, five meter radials, which is normally the seems to be the best best way to go for for uh, for this antenna. But after that, for people who don't have five meters of garden or area or deck or whatever to play with, they've only got a, a small area. I'm actually going to take just over there on the on the fence. You can see I've actually got um, sixteen. Um, sorry, I've got 32. I've actually cut. I've actually cut the 16 five meter long radials in half, which has produced 32 um, two and a half meter long radials. So the basic object of the video later, I'll go on reverse beacon network, put out some uh, CQs on 20 meters, see what uh, spots, what results I get with 60 with 16 five meter radials then i'll come out and take them off and simply be with the alligator clips it's very very easy and quick to do i will un unfasten the five meter long radials and i will bring on and put on 32 2.5 meter radials 
There's the same amount of wire, but obviously 2.5 metres long uh, allows you to put this vertical in a very, very small area. And I'll see, I'll then go back on the radio, do some CQ and see what the results are. Um, actually on the air between, as I say, between the um, the 16 radials of 5 metres long and 32 radials at 2.5 metres long. The same amount of wire, but obviously taking up 2.5 um, metres less, less space. Um, we'll just we'll uh, re re rearrange the um, the radial so they spread out a, a bit better around the area, so it gives us a, a better result. And then um, and then we'll do the we'll show you the results in the uh, in the second uh, second um, second video. And I'm I'm actually hoping that um, 16 five meter radials compared to 32 two and a half meter radials hopefully will produce a very, very similar um, uh, result in where my signal gets to around the world later on. So that's what we're going to be trying anyway. It's just got to get the coax back to the house and spread the radials out. We've got um, maybe uh, maybe another four hours before the grey line comes, so we've got plenty of time to do the test. And as I say, I've got the other um, 32 2.5 metre radials all ready to go, just a matter of coming out here, unclipping the ones here, moving them out of the way altogether and bring the other ones in and set them out and retest again. I'm trying to retest within a very short time, maybe just 10 minutes, because obviously the propagation could change and that would change the, that might change the results. So there we go, we'll see what happens. Um, the idea is in the field, get the wire out, get the quarks out, get the antenna out and see what results you get um, just straight on the air, straight on the air, live results and uh, and this um, this is the way I like to I like to work, get proper results, not troll through, uh, not troll through books and software on the internet to see what might happen, I like to just get there and, and test it out. And of course this setup, in case um, people don't realise, it's quite easy to dismantle this setup. If you want to go in the air and you're in an area where you don't really want antennas up all the time, you, I normally go on for about an hour and a half around the grey line and then I can just dismantle this, lower it down, put it in the, uh, put it back in the house and then tomorrow bring it back out and so it's not stuck up um, in the garden all day long if um, if you don't like to uh, upset the neighbours or, or whatever with my sticking out of trees etc. There you go, 73s, this is ZL3XDJ and uh, all the best and any more inf information you might need have a look on the QRZ page, there's information and some videos on there again. Okie doke, we'll go and wait for the grey line and we'll show you the results uh, um, uh, later on today or tomorrow. ZL3XTG, off and clear. All the best, take care.